it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today's video is something I have been wanting to do for some time now and I just felt like this is the perfect time to do this now because as you guys might know, there's a little thing going on right now in this world and it's not pretty, it's not nice and it's making people stay at home and buy way too much toilet paper. So many people are either afraid to go outside or are forced to stay in, okay, because of what is going on out there. It is a scary, scary place right now. Okay. So I felt like, you know, this would be the perfect time to show you guys recipes that you can make in the comfort of your own home without leaving your home because I'm only using ingredients that you can find in your freezer or in your pantry. But yeah, honestly, I have been wanting to do like an apocalypse recipes video for a while and there's so many possibilities, people. If there was a zombie apocalypse right now, okay, I would be fine for at least a few weeks, okay, in the safety of this home because there is enough food in my freezer and in my in my pantry to last me a while. These are just great recipes for those of you guys that are just too lazy to go to the grocery store because that's really what happens to me quite often. It involves like putting on clothes and like leaving the home. I'm in my pajamas. I don't want to go outside like you know, no. So if you are quarantined, you're staying at home every single day, you're like, what do I do with my life? Have no fear because Skillshare is here. <laughs> Did you like that transition? So today's video is very kindly sponsored by Skillshare, which is the perfect sponsor because Skillshare is an online learning community for anyone that wants to learn something new or even brush up on an existing skill all in the comfort of your own home and all in your own pace. Skillshare offers you thousands of different classes on so, so many different topics such as photography, videography, marketing, business, entrepreneurship, and so much more. So an example of a topic that I love exploring on Skillshare is productivity. So this month, the class that I took is called Simple Productivity, How to Accomplish More with Less. So because I love productivity classes, this was definitely something that stood out to me and I had to take it right away. And I love this class because it doesn't just talk about how to get things done but it talks about how to prioritize things so that you figure out what's essential to your life and what is non-essential and you kind of separate those two things so that you focus more on things that are essential to you. For those of you that are interested in learning something new and by the way you don't have to be quarantined to do this okay if you are interested in learning new things then today is your day because the first 500 people to click the link down below will get access to two months of Skillshare absolutely free. That means you can take unlimited number of classes in those two months. You can learn so, so much in those two months for free. And after that, if you want to continue your membership, it is only around $10 a month. If you guys want to check them out, make sure you click that link below. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video once again. Now let's get on with the, uh, the apocalypse recipes. I don't know what to call this video. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Let's get on with the recipes. As always, guys, I will have the written recipes in a blog post that's linked below, so don't forget to check that. And let's get on with the first recipe, which is probably my favorite one. It is a creamy pasta recipe. So we're going to get started by cooking up some pasta. I'm using spaghetti, but you can use whatever pasta of your choice. And for the main sauce ingredient, we are going to be using frozen butternut squash. So I could easily find butternut squash frozen in the grocery store. And hopefully you'll be able to find that. If not, you can use frozen sweet potato, sweet potato that's canned. You can use canned pumpkin, whatever along those lines. Okay, you get, you get the idea. So all I did is take the butternut squash and microwaved it to thaw it out. And then into a food processor, I added the butternut squash along with some water, some tahini, garlic powder, lemon juice. I'm not using fresh lemon juice, obviously. Some salt, pepper, and we're going to blend that up. But I also forgot an ingredient, but I'll show you in a bit. <laughs> The ingredient I forgot is nutritional yeast. I know, how dare I? So I'm adding in a bunch of nutritional yeast and that's really gonna give it a lot more flavor. So let's blend that up again. When the pasta is almost done cooking, I like to scoop out some of that starch water just to save it for later in case I need it. And then we're gonna drain that pasta. And then we're gonna take the pan back to the stove and add in that creamy, delicious sauce. This really creates such a nice creamy sauce and it's so healthy too. So in the pan, I'm also gonna add in some frozen green peas. 
And of course, we can add the pasta back in here as well. And by the way, everything is on very low heat at this point. And I'm also going to add in some chickpeas. These were canned chickpeas that I drained and rinsed. You can, of course, buy dry beans, cook them from scratch, whatever floats your boat. And here I'm just adding a little bit of sauce at a time just to get the right consistency. At the end, I just added in all of the sauce, but you can add as much or as little as you'd like. And at this point, if it's a little bit too thick, you can also add in some of that starch water that we saved earlier. And at the end, of course, you can top with a little bit more salt and pepper. And that's pretty much it. It's super simple. This was so good, so creamy. I'm definitely gonna make it again, even if I'm not quarantined, okay? <laughs> Right, the second recipe is another creamy recipe. It is a creamy tomato soup recipe. Yummy, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is heat up a pot on medium heat and I'm going to add in some vegan butter. Now you can use a vegetable oil instead if you don't have vegan butter. I always happen to have vegan butter in my fridge now, so that's what I'm using. So we're just going to let that heat up a bit and then we can add in some flour. Now, this is going to create a roux and a roux is something that you can use to thicken up a sauce or a soup, whatever it may be. I'm not an expert, guys, okay? But this works, okay? It's super simple and it works. So I added in equal parts of the butter and flour and we're gonna whisk that together and that's gonna create this like strange looking paste. Once we have that nice paste, we can add in some tomato sauce. So I'm using this canned tomato sauce and I'm gonna add it in a little bit at a time while mixing things together. And because we created that roux, it's really gonna help thicken up that tomato sauce. So this is a great way to create a creamy sauce, a creamy soup, something like that in a very easy way. And another little side note, it is so, so great to have canned tomatoes, tomato sauce, tomato paste, those types of things in your pantry at all times because they're so versatile. You can use them for so many things like pasta sauces, soups, chili, whatever it may be. So I highly recommend stocking up on those. So after we add in all that sauce and it's all nice and thick, I'm gonna add in some water just to thin it out a little bit so it becomes more of a soup. And to add some more flavor, I'm gonna add in some better than bouillon vegetable base. This is basically like a veggie stock and I have it in my fridge and it lasts forever. So I'm gonna add that into this mixture. You can of course add in veggie stock powder or a vegetable stock cube, those kinds of things. And now let's add in a little bit of garlic powder as well as a little bit of sugar. And we're gonna mix that well. Now feel free to give this a little taste and see how you like it. Now if you think it's a little bit too acidic, you can add in a little bit of baking soda and that's really going to help get rid of that acidity, but it's up to you. You could also add in a little bit more sugar or you can add in some more spices. Again, totally up to you. Now you can eat it as the creamy soup that it is or you can add in a few little chunks in there. I added in some beans as well as some more green peas. Now, this is obviously not a sufficient meal. I would recommend having this as a side or a starter to your main meal. You could have it with a sandwich or wrap, whatever it may be, uh, but this is just a great way to make a very nice, thick, creamy tomato soup. And for decorative purposes, as well as some additional flavor, I'm adding in some cashew parmesan on top of the soup, as well as a little bit of cracked black pepper. The cashew parmesan recipe is super simple, and I'll leave that link down below. It's also very great to keep in your pantry. You can also keep it in your fridge, but I honestly have no issues when I keep it in the pantry. And of course, I take it out all the time and throw it on top of everything. So I highly recommend trying that out, as well as this delicious, creamy, and chunky soup. The 
next recipe I'm going to be making, I'm gonna call it a quinoa power bowl. Yes, guys, we're gonna take one cup of dry quinoa, one and a quarter cup of water, one quarter cup of salt, and we're gonna bring this to a nice boil. Once it comes to a boil, we're gonna turn this down to a low heat and cover it up and let it cook for 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, we're gonna add in some store-bought pasta sauce. Just one cup of that store-bought pasta sauce that I already had in my pantry. And along with that, we're gonna add in some frozen vegetables. Frozen vegetables are amazing to have around. They are so handy and perfect for those lazy days that you don't wanna go shopping. We're gonna add that in along with some basil as well. And we're also gonna add in some black beans. I'm using canned beans once again, but once again, you can cook some beans yourself if you would like. I'm just gonna rinse it out and we're gonna drain it. And then we're gonna add in a cup of that into this mixture. And at this point, I added in another quarter cup of water and we're gonna mix that well, turn the heat up a little bit to about a medium heat, cover it up and allow it to cook for another five to 10 minutes or until the quinoa is completely cooked. By the way, if you don't have a jar of pasta sauce, you can also just add in some tomato sauce from a can as before or any sort of other like tomato base and you can just flavor it using different spices and so on and so forth. I just find pasta sauce to be very easy to use because you don't have to do much in terms of flavoring it. So to top everything off and make this even more healthy, we're gonna add in some pumpkin seeds. That's gonna add some healthy fats in there, as well as a nice crunch factor, add in some extra nutrients, and that is what makes this a nice, beautiful power bowl. And once again, you have the option of adding in some of that cashew parmesan, but totally up to you. Absolutely not necessary, but it's still delicious. And finally, I'm just gonna show you guys a nice quick little side dish you can make using frozen vegetables. So I'm just gonna take some vegan butter as per usual. You can once again add oil instead. So I'm just gonna melt some vegan butter and then I'm just gonna throw in some frozen green beans. Yes guys, frozen green beans. You could probably do this with pretty much any frozen vegetable, but I love green beans. So we're gonna mix that well, and as you can see, I added in quite a bit of the vegan butter because it's so tasty. And so I'm just kind of make sure that everything is nicely coated with that vegan butter grease. And to season my green beans, I'm just going to add a little bit of garlic salt. And that is basically like garlic powder and salt. So if you just have garlic powder and salt separately, you can add those things as well. So I'm basically just gonna cook everything until it's pretty much cooked <laughs> and not frozen anymore. And then we can plate it. And to top everything, I'm gonna crack some black pepper. And you guessed it guys, we're also gonna add in some of that cashew parmesan. And that's really gonna make it nice and pretty as well. So there you have it. There's another little side dish for you. Green beans, mm-hmm, super simple. On this evening, I actually ended up inviting some friends over so they could help me eat this food and we can enjoy it together. So it was a really lovely time and hopefully you guys can do the same. Hopefully you're not actually sick. Make sure you stay healthy, guys. Make sure you wash your hands. Don't touch your face. All that good stuff. I'm terrible with not touching my face, but what can I do, okay? So hope you enjoy these recipes. All right, you guys, so that is it for my quarantine recipes apocalypse recipes whatever you want to call them okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did enjoy it please give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to this channel of course don't forget to subscribe and let me know down below what your thoughts were and if you want more of these types of videos thank you so much to skillshare for once again sponsoring today's video and guys don't forget to click that link below become one of the first 500 people to click that link and you'll get those two months of skillshare for free thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye